Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Warhammer 40,000 Shadow Spear box set. It comes out today, it's in this box, uh, it will cost you £105. It's a fair bit of money. Yes, people have drawn comparisons to this set and Dark Imperium, but I feel that those comparisons are kind of like uh, model to model comparisons. Dark Imperium is £10 cheaper and you get a full thick rule book, but this isn't meant to be a uh, Warhammer 40,000 rule starter base game set. Uh, it's, it's an expansion and every single model in this is brand new. Now we got a lovely uh, Space Marine Primaris release off the back of Dark Imperium and an incredible uh, Death Guard army release. All those new miniatures, Mortarian even. And it looks like this is gonna be the same for this Shadow Spear box. Uh, we've already seen previews of uh, some of the new Chaos uh, models like Abaddon and the Lord Discordant. Um, so let's hope we get some more models because of this set. I'm gonna unbox it now and stop blathering. Um, why did I get it? <laughs> Mainly for the Chaos models. I really like the Chaos models. The Space Marine Primaris models are, are all right. You know, they're, they're, they're quite good, um, but there are some duplicates in here, which we'll go through. I'll be doing reviews of all these models uh, all through the next uh, week and into the week after, um, because I want to go through their rules. You get sort of mini codexes and things with them. So let's let's see. So, 140,000 Shadow Spear. It's thick. It's a thin box. Um, it's quite big though. Uh, it's very shiny. So let's uh, get rid of the wrapping wrapper and unbox this. Is it smaller than Dark Imperium? I'd probably say yeah. I think the box is smaller than Dark Imperium. That, that box set was quite large. Plastic glue required. Tools required. Twelve plus. Um, so it says Shadow Spear, Faith and Fury Clash in the 41st Millennium. Um, you've got a lot of things going on here with cover art. You've got the Suppressors, uh, the Vanguard, Primary Space Marines. You've got the Chaos Possessed. You've got the Master of Possession. You've got a Hell Brute. Um, you've got the Venom Crawl in the background. Looking forward to the second uh, Vigilus book uh, when that comes out, probably in a couple of weeks. And these are the models you get. So let's just have a little zoom in. So there's the Master of Possession. So you get all of these Chaos models. You're going to get 10 Chaos Space Marines. They all look individual as well. That's one thing that drew me to this set. Um, you've got two Greater Possessed, two Obliterators, uh, and one Venom Crawler. So that's the Chaos Force. When you, when you break it down, you get an HQ troop, probably get an elite choice, and then maybe is that fast attack and that's heavy support. So it's quite a, a small section. Of, of miniatures in a way um, not like say Death Guard in Dark Imperium where you got you know two two lots of troops um, and, a, and a couple more HQs if we look over to the Space Marine Primaris um, force you're getting this librarian in Phobos armor they're pretty much all in Phobos armor uh, which is like the Reaver armor basically and um, there you're getting the captain in Phobos armor and then I think that's the lieutenant over there uh, hidden away. Um, you can just spot them out because they're on these um, large 40 mil bases, I think they are. Could be 50 mil, we'll see. Um, then you get the three suppressors. Two of them are in exactly the same pose, unfortunately. Then you get three eliminators. Again, two are in exactly the same pose, but you just, you know, you can have a helmet or helmetless. I think I might just go for helmet for both of them though, even though they'll, they'll look identical. And then you get uh, 10 infiltrators, which are basically like reavers, but with bolt rifles. <laughs> that's what I want to um, say about them. Anyway, that's the forces. You also get a uh, Shadow Spear book, Demon King uh, mini codex, and a Vanguard Space Marines mini codex too. So that's what you get in the set. Let's unbox this and have a, a good feast at the, the miniatures inside. So, wow, well, okay, you get a free bit of bubble bubble wrap that come in handy I'll be very careful with these because these are all the bases lots of bases there um, I think in total there's probably going to be about 35 um, bases because that's how many miniatures are in the kit uh, you get these thrown in on the on the top so this is the librarian um, just move that to one side because it sometimes focuses 
uh, incorrectly. So this is a librarian um, sprue, helmet there, no helmetless option, monopose. Um, they can easily bundle this in a clan pack and sell this separately. There's no way they, they don't need to do that. It says Games Workshop uh, 2019 on it. It's got a bit of a scenic base, got a book there. Um, nice detail on the, the four sword. The sword looks huge. One of the biggest four swords I've ever seen, actually. Um, yeah, nice robes on there, some keys. Uh, skull with a, a kind of purity seal thing. And then his power pack is... Uh, it's got some kind of, it's got the cloak attached to the power pack. Um, fair bit of detail there going on. I like that in the psychic hood. Uh, so that's the librarian. We'll stick with the Primaris for now, and then I'll go through the chaos models. So this here uh, would be the captain. Um, unfortunately, you don't get a helmet with this guy, so you're gonna have to have him without, which, yeah, if you wanted a all helmeted, Primaris Force, unfortunately, that's not going to be the way with this, this captain. But there are a few uh, lieutenants, aren't there, without helmets, so there is that. And then he's got this awesome looking uh, bolt rifle. I've forgotten the name, but it's it's quite snazzy, actually. Uh, he's got a pointing finger, he's got a um, sheath for his blade. Lots of detail there on the Phobos armour. And again, he's got a bit of a scenic base. He's on some kind of metal work, some piping. Um, and then there's part of the servo skull, omni servo skull thing there. It's basically his hovering iPad. Uh, it's connected to his right leg. And there's loads of detail and things on the power pack, like a um, communications antenna and so on. So yeah, fair bit of detail. Obviously I'll go through these models individually uh, in their review. Um, let's have a look at more Primaris, which are these, all of these sprues, um, so just move them out of the way. So it's really odd because I've sort of mixed them all into different sprues. So, so what I can see is you've got some uh, Vanguard here and uh, Eliminators, there's an Eliminator, you've got a Suppressor there. Um, got different helmets they do have plugs and sockets for the heads but there's no real reason why you can't just chip them off you know snap them off with your clippers and then position the heads any which way you like um, yeah that's that's one of the uh, eliminators the heads with the goggles another suppressor head um, that's really cool Helmet, that's that's really awesome. And you've got the, the bolt pistols and these rifles that have about six different types of ammunition. No, I think it's like three different types of ammunition. Pretty cool. I like this underslung bolt rifle with scopes and things on the side. It's really awesome. And yeah, this one kneeling. So that's that sprue. Um, it consists of some eliminators and uh, I think a suppressor. Uh, this one, um, I think this is a duplicate sprue. It's got to be right. Blow me away, it's a duplicate sprue, a sprue yeah, definitely. So identical sprue there. Um, so they've made one sprue and they've just made two of them. And then you've got the, the two character sprues. So that's really well done, so in a way, They've only made four sprues um, for the uh, Primaris and they've made and they've only made three sprues for the Chaos. Can you believe it guys? So three th th sprues for the Chaos and uh, four for the Primaris. Let's have a look at this big sprue. This is a huge sprue. Lots of gaps as well. Not a huge fan of but um, yeah loads of gaps around there but they've got to fit a lot in I suppose. So this has the remaining um, Vanguard in there and uh, I think the Elite, the Eliminator um, Sergeant, uh, also the, yeah, which is there, I think. Um, more bolt rifles and the other suppressor weapon. I'm thinking it's got the Sergeant, there's a Sergeant Suppressor, or Inceptor Suppressor, whatever you want to call him. Uh, some of these have some really, really decent grenades and uh, accessories on. You've even got these bits look for the um, basis so you've got some scenic 
three three scenic um, kind of accessories there. Really, really cool. I like the um, binoculars that they've got and the um, robes that are the cloaks that are connected to the power plants. I love this grenade. Look, it's it's survived its transit. I thought that that would be really flimsy, but he's tossing that um, sort of smoke grenade. And you've got some, uh, yeah, look at them. Smoke canisters there. Really cool, excellent um, sprues. Uh, let's have a look at the chaos. So we'll start off with the Master of Possession, which is here. Again, no real reason why they can't just sell this bad boy for £15 separately in a sprue. Um, he's got his uh, staff, this really ornate um, power plug with ridges on it. Uh, this awesome demon head. This awesome um, goat head, I think. And then this uh, kind of goat um, uh, helmet with this sacrificial dagger and the bolt pistol and this awesome looking cloak with bones um, hanging from it and skulls, skulls on the base and yeah quite a few skulls on the base actually. Um, he's holding a, a flaming skull I think it is uh, and then there are more flaming skulls there so just flaming skulls everywhere for the Master of Possession. Really really cool model um, if you can pull off the flame effect well. Then Let's have a look at this massive sprue. So another huge sprue here in this set. Um, it's almost, it's exactly the same size as the Primaris large sprue. Uh, and this has everything else on it. Um, so these have all of your uh, Chaos Space Marines and your two um, Greater Possessed. It's a shame you only get two Greater Possessed. I understand they're a bit of a beast in combat anyway, but maybe it would have been nice to see four of them or five. I don't know, but... Here we go. Um, and also, none of the, the Chaos Space Marines have any like heavy weapons. They, they have this, the, the auto cannon, which, yeah, okay, that's a heavy weapon, but you know what I mean, like a missile launcher or a las cannon or a plasma cannon even. Um, they have the plasma gun, um, but it would be nice to see a, a big, big heavy weapon. Um, we've seen the, one of the Chaos, Chaos Space Marines with the um, Punisher cannon or auto assault cannon, whatever you want to call it. Um, it looks more like a, a kind of onslaught cannon kind of thing uh like a gatling cannon um clearly he's going to be available in in a chaos space marine box set separately uh, rather than in in this kit uh, but you've got a, a nice um big claw there you've got these big claws um for the greater possessed these claws are oh, loads going on the chain axes um chain swords funky looking power plants with um, horns coming out of them. I really like these double bladed um, chainsaws look. You've got a blade on the top, then you've got the teeth and then you've got the teeth on the reverse. Fantastic. Very menacing looking um, weapons. And look at that with the, the rib cage on the armour. Fantastic. Really, really awesome models. Um, can't wait to build these. Really looking forward to it. Um, and then we have the final sprue, which is another same size as the, the other two, um, that, which has the Venom Crawler on there with all of the, you know, different uh, bits of scenery. And it's lovely, lovely spiky kind of back. It's very arachnid looking, um, particularly like a Black Widow or something. Horrible looking creature. And then you've got the... the the obliterators with all their fleshy wires and spiky parts. That's actually quite a spiky part there. Um, then I like these like tendrils, these sort of Dr. Octopus type mechanized tendrils that you've seen in the Lord Discordant too. Um, I love the aesthetics for these chaos. They share um, a shared aesthetic, much like the Death Guard did a couple of years ago um, across the range. And I can't wait to see all of the other models. I mean, Abaddon looks, looks incredible too. Um, I don't know whether I could get away with him in my um, Death Guard army there. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, really nice looking sprue, lots going on and uh, can't wait to be, build these obliterators and the Venom Crawler. I've got a lot of work ahead of me because I've still got all the Orc um, vehicles and things to build. But anyway, that is all of the uh, models in the set, uh, the, the sprues. Um, let's see what else you get. So you get a, 
a um, poster as always but as always because games workshop don't think ahead when they mass produce these and um, bundle them all in the in the boxes you've just seen me unbox it i haven't done anything that that nobody else is supposed to do and you get this big poster and then already look at that big chip it's it's pretty poor you got a big chip in there that poster unless you get a brush or a pen it's pretty much ruined because you've got a big spot of white there because they're bundling these sharp you know chaos miniatures and other miniatures in here and it just wrecks any kind of poster um unless you put a film in or you put one of those foam pads over it um you know you're not getting this for free it is part of the the set um it costs money to print these these out and it's a real shame when uh, their own products get damaged um, because of lack of foresight, I want to call it, um, lack of planning. This has happened in, in the other box, I say games, not really a game, in these other box kind of sets that include two forces, the posters have become damaged and they've become useless really. They probably won't ever see this video, but if they do, I hope they take it on board and hope they um, improve uh, their sets in future that if you're gonna put a nice poster in, at least protect it. Then you get a uh, Black Legion uh, sample chapter uh, by Aaron Dembski Bowden. That would be pretty cool. I like these sample chapters. I read the um, one for uh, the Lords of Silence. Um, that was really, really good. And uh, I'll enjoy this one. Uh, two, I'm sure. So it's good that you get the sample chapters. I'd like to see more sample chapters in future. This is clearly the uh, Primaris Captain's base. It's not, it's the Venom Crawler's base. Um, and then that's probably one of the Captain's base or something. Uh, what else have we got? Oh no, these could be the Obliterator bases, sorry. You got the uh, flying stands uh, for the three suppressors. You get some transfer sheets, so you get a Shadow Spear transfer sheet. So this is specifically for Shadow Spear, so it's cool that you're getting the um, Chaos uh, symbols too, and the squad markings, um, you know, for fire support and a librarian's marking. So that's, that's pretty cool that you get that. Um, and then you get the, the books themselves and the build guide. So we'll just uh, have a little look at these. Okay, so there's Shadow Spear, there's Vanguard Space Marines Mini Codex, and there's a Demonkin uh, Mini Codex. It actually says Codex on them as well. Um, then you get this, which is, yeah, no substitution for a hardback rulebook. Um, um, and by now, everybody's pretty much got the core rules. Um, I think you can even get them online for free, I think, the core ones. Uh, this is a build guide for both the forces. Uh, well, that's new. They even show the sprues there. They label the sprues. I don't think we've seen that before. And there's even a colour picture. So have they changed the, the uh, guide slightly? I think they have. Very detailed instruction guide. Um, look, you can even choose the head there. So I might just go helmeted for both of them. Um, and the suppressors. Okay, our Space Marine. So aspiring champion there. And... The obliterators and the possessed. Possessed look to go go together very quickly and very well. Just a few pieces. And then the Venom Crawler, probably one of the most complex kits in the set. And then there's some of the paint guide. Great that you get paint guide, so it's useful to hold on to that for when you're painting them up. Um, let's just have a look at uh, Shadow Spear um, book. So. This is 24 pages. I think they're all 24 pages. They were in like Shadow, they were in Tooth and Claw and um, Wake the Dead. Um, they had mini kind of books there that were 24 pages. Um, so you get some lovely, lovely pictures and artwork. Um, Warzone Vigilus, Into the Void, War for Nemengast, Game Rules and Missions. So you got some missions there. Quite a few missions. And there you go. 
So there are all your your missions in there for them. Uh, so a little bit about a little bit of backstory. Would have been nice to have a bit more backstory, like a few more pages. I feel like that's lacking a little bit. It's only sort of like six pages or so. They want to keep the majority of the content um, back for Vigilus 2. Now that's another thing about this set is the Vigilus 2 book is going to be out um, soon. I was thinking about it last night and I thought it would have actually been way, way better instead of having this to actually have the Vigilus 2 hardback book in this set as well as a thank you, as a, you know, for the price as well, be, you know, it being £10 more than um, Dark Imperium, it would have been uh, better to have Vigilus 2 book in here and then sell that separately later on. One, they would have sold more of these sets because that book would come in with it. Um, and two, it must be ready, right? Um, I don't think it's not ready. Uh, they're going to release it soon. But that would have been brilliant and to coincide. But as it stands, they're going to release, you know, Abaddon separately and the Vigilus 2 book separately. Uh, but this is what it's about. Vigilus 2 will have all of this in it. Um, it's, it's just a bit of a shame. But then again, if they put the book in with these, you probably see you'd, you'd have rules and things floating about for characters that you, you didn't have, which has been the case for Death Guard. So, it's, you know, they've done it before. Anyway, let's have a look at the Vanguard Space Marine um, Codex. So they kind of advertise these as mini codexes. So there's a bit of an introduction, some artwork on the poster, whereas mine's ruined. <laughs> um, some Vanguard forces. So they're really pushing these Reavers, Reaver squads, which I don't like them. I, I don't like Reavers uh, that much. Um, you know, I much prefer the, the normal Intercessors. I think the Intercessors are the best looking out of all of them. I think the Inceptors aren't that good. And I don't, I'm not a big fan of the Aggressors either. The Intercessors uh, are where it's at, in my opinion. Not a big fan of the Gravis armor, not a big fan of the Reaver armor, but they seem to have taken the Reaver armor and pushed it. And they really want to get rid of scouts, it seems. <laughs> it's just that shoulder pole, and I just can't, it just annoys me so much. You've got one on the left, put one on the right. You know, you're getting your three plus save anyway, uh, so it doesn't really affect it. Um, yeah, they're really running with it. But anyway, elite killers, so you've got. Uh, Nice showcase of them all, clearly showing all the uh, duplicates. Um, they've just moved them around a little bit, like those two guys and those two, and they've conveniently put those two next to each other, and <laughs> they've opposited them, opposited them. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, all of them should have been unique. There's just not enough um, differences between them all when you get six models that are, are du you know, I say duplicates, you know, you know what I mean. Um, not compared to the Chaos one, and we'll have a look at that in a moment. Then you get data sheets at page 12, so around halfway. Um, there's the Captain and Phobos, Librarian, and the Lieutenant. So we get a, finally we get the ten Lieutenant. I've been suffering from withdrawal um, symptoms from Lieutenants for quite a while now, because we haven't had any for ages. It's becoming a joke, the number of, of them left. Um, you, you can build a Primaris Force out of them now. Anyway, Infiltrator Squad, um, Suppressor Squad, and Eliminator Squad. And then Sons of the Primarchs, Obscuration, Discipline, Warlord Traits, and then Points Values as well. I'll be going through each one of these units uh, individually in a review, as I always do for all of the sets, um, as soon as I possibly can, as soon as I've made them. But I don't want to rush this set because I've got lots of other things that I'm uh, doing at the moment. Codex Heretic Astartes Demon King. Demon Kin. So uh, let's have a look at this. So you've got, again, you've got an introduction and you've got the same artwork. So there's a replication there. Um, you've got a little bit about Demon Kin, the shaping of abominations. I do like the um, the surround for the, for the book. I think they've done a really, really nice job there. They've got it for the Primaris as well, but um, this is sort of the first time I've seen sort of this. I really like the Death Guard one when they brought that out. There you go, you've got Traitors and Tyrants. Here we go. So this is pretty cool. So you've got Alpha Legion, Iron Warriors, Night Lords, Word Bearers, Red Corsairs, the Scourged, the Purge, and the Flawless Host. So the Purge, Exterminators of Life. So they're called the Purge, but are they actually Death Guard? It's hard to say. 
we're going to say yes. Anyway, Infernal Champions. So you get a nice look at uh, all those models. And yes, it's brilliant when you get a load of miniatures like that and they're all individual. Um, very fantastic. I can't actually see any similarities because because what I'm looking at is I'm looking at all the cloths in between their legs look and none of them are the same. And if they were the same, then they'd be duplicates and they're not. The, they're not duplicates, neither is a master, neither the obliterator, neither the venom. So it's great. I love it when you release a set and you get these many individual characters um, models. So data sheets, here we go. So you've got the demon kin, master of possession, uh, chaos space marines, greater possessed, obliterators, and the venom crawler. So quite a fair few more there. Lost and the damned. Malefic Discipline, Warlord Traits, and Points Values. So there you go. Um, two kind of mini codexes, uh, obviously giving you all the rules for, and the data sheets for the, the models in the uh, kit. And then you've got this Shadow Spear, which I found is a bit lackluster, mainly consists of uh, a load of um, missions and things. I think they could have done more with this, or I think they could have you know, given us um, Vigilus 2 uh, Harbat book um, in here. Anyway, what do you guys think of the set so far, just based on my initial impressions? I'm a big fan of the new Chaos models. I think they've done a fantastic job. And like the Death Guard, I want to support that because I think we see so much of the same with Imperium models. But I am looking forward to Sisters of Battle later in, in the year. Put your comments and opinions down below as always and uh, wish me Godspeed in building them as fast as humanly possible and getting the reviews out to you. There's still a few uh, Gene Stealer Cult uh, reviews to come out, uh, so stay tuned to the channel for them. And of course, I've got loads of Orcs uh, reviews and Blackstone Fortress and Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. So there's still plenty of content for the next uh, two or three months, which I hope you'll enjoy. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.